Okay, Capricorn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sheesh. So, whew, we're still under the Capricorn moon right now, moving into the Aquarius full moon that we're going to be having tomorrow night. But man, that Capricorn moon transit. Whew, and I know you guys are feeling that. Um, you've had a lot of pressure, whether you're Capricorn sun, rising moon, doesn't matter. All of these planets that are happening um, are pushing you forward in ways that you probably have never, you never thought or never imagined that this was going to be the way things were going to go. Um, and Mars in Aries is coming up to square all of this stuff that's going on with you guys. And there's this level of discernment that you are creating within yourself in order to get the job done, in order to get things taken care of. Um, and can I, can I say reclaim your power? Can I say that without sounding pretentious in any way for you guys? Because that's what it absolutely feels like. It feels like there's this honesty factor that you're sort of stepping into. Now, when Saturn leaves your sign again in a couple of months, um, the relief will will happen, but there will be another set of lessons because Saturn, I mean, you guys are ruled by Saturn. So you're all, so no matter whether it was, it's been in your sign for the last two and a half years, yes, I know, whether you are Saturn in return baby or Capricorn, Saturn Capricorn return baby, um, while Saturn was there, it's still going to affect you because you guys are ruled by Saturn. So as we move it into Aquarius, and we have this Aquarius full moon that's happening tomorrow, and all of these vibes, these very discerning, I know I need to change, I know that things need to happen in a much more flowing kind of fashion, you're doing it for your own growth potential. And so the Knight of Swords, I do, it's the feeling that I'm getting from you guys is you're like, nobody's getting in my way anymore. Like, it's just, I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm not going to allow other people to determine my moods, to determine the way my business looks, to determine the way my life looks. It's just not going to happen. So then we have the Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra energy, especially Libra, since we have the Queen of Swords here. But I actually feel like the Queen of Swords is your vibe in August. I feel like you guys have a whole Queen of Swords vibe. She is the one who is very discerning. She's the one that is going to tell you like it is. She doesn't mince her words. She doesn't have tunnel vision like the King of Swords. She's very open-ended when it comes to her vision, but there isn't like, there's zero bullshit meter. Like, or she, or like her bullshit meter is, is so, like she can see it, right? She can see right through everybody. And that's where you're going in August, eight of pentacles. And the reason why is because you just want to get things done. Like it's time, you know that it's time to start moving forward. You know that there is no more holding back, that there's no more, as my roommate would say, there's no more lollygagging. <laughs> there's no more dabbling in this and dabbling in that, right? Page of Swords, Six of Wands. You're ready to get your bag. Fill it up with a whole bunch of money. The Six of Wands is the victory. The Six of Wands is being recognized for who you are. The Six of Wands is the celebration that you've been waiting for. Will it be a really fun party with a whole bunch of people without social distancing? Probably not. Will it be probably a little bit subdued, but the celebration is how, it, how your life is impacting you? or how you are impacting your life. Let's put it that way, not how your life is impacting you. Because the way other people want your life to look is 100% different than where you're, being, where you're being guided to. 
so even though you may feel kind of irritated in August, it's, it's because you don't want anybody to stand in your way. Let's see what this night of, I mean, I get it. I, I, it may not necessarily be a good thing, right? Like we want to, we want to actually approach people in a loving manner and not like the angry, I have a chip on my shoulder manner, right? Because the Knight of Swords is very much, I have a chip on my shoulder. And then we have the Knight of Cups. The other thing is, is if you have your eye on somebody, somebody either new or existing, but that they don't really know. If you have your eye on somebody, I, there's this, there's this want to rush in and like love bomb them. And I'm going to ask you not to do that. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that you know what you want and you're going to go get it whether you whether that other person likes it or not kind of thing <laughs> like you're just sort of jumping right in there let's see what the empress is um again this could be a taurus or a libra energy that you're feeling but i almost want to say it could even be a pisces too but i almost want to say that this is you sitting on your throne this is like a very sitting pretty kind of feeling for me <clears throat> hmm the high priestess on the empress man that's a power couple that's a whole vibe right there because the high priestess is the knowing and the empress is the doing is the creation of the knowing right and that's where you're sitting capricorn and you're sitting right on the creation of knowing and that's i feel like i'm saying all of this to some of you and you're all like i haven't seen it i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it so and it's not that i want to blow smoke up your ass in any way shape or form but what I want you to recognize is when you're constantly looking at the negative side of things or you're constantly saying to yourself, this isn't going to happen, this isn't going to happen, I'm not going to get here, I'm not going to get here, da, 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 you know, however that's going for you, when you're constantly telling yourself that it's not going to happen, then it's not going to happen. But when you allow yourself to shift your habits, change your patterns, turn something from a negative to a positive, and just be discerning in the process. Like, you can be vulnerable and open and discerning all at the same time. And I think that we've had this discussion before, but it's hard sometimes when the world can feel really cruel and when things haven't necessarily been going very well for a while. So, yeah, I mean, it's not been easy, but you're almost at the end of it. And this is why I want you to be able to, to see... That the things that you've been creating, I mean, like, there's just a knowing inside of you, right? About the things that you've been creating. And there's just a knowing inside of you that it doesn't matter how fast it happens or when it happens or what it looks like when it happens. You just know that it has to happen, right? And if it's an air sign that's, like, really dragging you down right now, then I want you to, to pull yourself back, pull yourself back together, and realize all the hard work that you've done is actually paying off. Now, if this isn't an air sign and you're just the one that's really up in your head and, and working on being discerning, and that 10 of wands is you at the end of a cycle, after doing all the hard work, and after really, really, really creating a life for yourself and, and the way that you want it to look and doing it the right way. Taking the steps with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is about taking the steps up and up and up, right? And creating them without skipping steps, without rushing through things. Now, there's probably one cycle that has to end, even though you might have done it the right way that time, it doesn't resonate quite with you anymore. Could be a person, could be a situation, could be a job, whatever. But also allowing the pessimism to creep in with that Ten of Swords on the Eight of Pentacles, you can easily manifest a really 
horrible ending of a cycle instead of a, a smoother one, sure, easily. If you rush it, if you're not discerning, if you're not listening to your own intuition, if you're not being guided by your answers, but you're being guided by what you think the world wants from you or what pe what you think people want from you, that Ten of Swords on the Eight of, Eight of Pentacles could be a really horrible ending to something that you worked really, really hard on because you rushed it. Or you could realize that the worst is over now, that you're at the end of a cycle, that all of that really difficult, painful existence that you were in because you closed doors, it's gone. You're done. The hard work is done. And being honest with yourself, so this could be an Aquarius too that you're dealing with, but being honest with your own sense of self and your own journey. Man, that's where dreams come true. When you're at the end of a really, really long road, it's time to rest. And it's time to sort of gather yourself up because the celebrations are going to be internal. The celebrations are going to be, man, look at how far you came. And you can look back at the person that you were two and a half years ago and realize that you are not that same person and that you, that the life that you are creating moving forward from this present moment, not from a future stance, not from a past stance, but from this present moment on, all of those moments that are coming up that you haven't seen yet are going to be worth celebrating. And yeah, um, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, but we have this full moon here. So the moon on the Six of Wands. Mm. I feel like the release that you're going to have on the full moon is going to um, allow yourself to have that conversation that's really, really needed. Now, I want you, after you have that conversation that you needed to have, um, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, because I think that there are some things you need to get off your chest so that it's you're not so chaotic. Um, so you can be a little bit more discerning and a little bit more at peace with things. Um, but once you have that conversation, I want you to allow yourself to rest. Four of Swords, the Devil and the four of cups and it's not that i want you to ignore your emotions i don't want you to do the apathy thing that's in the four of cups could it because it could probably be really easy to do that after having this conversation whether you're having it with a pisces a libra a taurus or an aquarius even maybe even a scorpio um but after you have this discussion um and and even if it's not like a See, I feel like some of you are actually going to have like a physical discussion, but even if it's not an actual physical discussion with somebody else, this could be the discussion that you're having within yourself too. But a lot of people aren't going to be on the same wavelength in August. A lot of people aren't going to resonate with what you're trying to say. A lot of people aren't going to um, understand where you're coming from. And so instead of forcing the matter and, and instead of pushing it, pushing the agenda, I guess, is the way that I want to put it. Um, say what you need to say and then take a step back and allow yourself to walk away from the emotional things that that came up within this conversation. Eight of Cups. This is about the non-detachment. This is about the, um, or the non-attachment. So we're, we're detaching from the expectations and the outcomes. We're detaching from what it is that we think that we're supposed to be doing and aligning ourselves to what the universe wants us to do because the universe knows what our purpose ultimately is, right? We can be discerning all day long, 
but you are in a phase of, of really big growth opportunities right now. And so all of that stuff that you're holding on to, the baggage that needs to be released, that is making room for this really big creation. And you already know it. That's the, that's the thing, you guys, is you already know what where you're being guided to. You already know what you're being guided to do. You just have to get honest with yourself about it. Really. And accept that um, accept that sometimes things won't always look the way that you want them to. Sometimes things have to look a different way in order for us to be guided the right way. Fair enough? Okay. Speaking of detachment, um, there is a um, workshop, satsang, that we're going to be doing, um, Mastering Detachment, on August 8th. To register for that class, it's in the description box below. It's going to be really great. Two hours, we're going to talk about how we release expectations of the future and how we can allow ourselves to live in a present moment um, because you'll be happier when you're not attached to outcomes. You'll be a much happier person and you can be guided more by the energy of gratitude and not desire. Okay. I also have a couple of reading openings available in August. There's very few of them. There's not a lot. Um, they're also discounted and Come join us on the memberships. We would love to have you there. We have a really good time with astrology and tarot. And you get really big discounts off of all of my workshops that I do. And you also get discounts on readings. So, um, and we have meditations and full moon rituals. We're at, we actually have the full moon ritual for tomorrow night for the top tier member. So come on over, join us. We would love to have you. Have a wonderful August Capricorn. We'll see you later.